do not put the wrong length log in these auto load containers right here you are going to miss out on a lot lot of money y'all these are absolutely phenomenal mods to be able to auto load but if you do this wrong you are gonna lose a lot of money let me show you what i mean I came over here to the container warehouse and I got a bunch of different ones of these containers. I got some 20 footers, I got some 40 footers, and I spawned some logs. Yes, I play on PC also, and we've got F12, so I was able to spawn in some logs. The first thing I did, I put a bunch of 12 meter logs into a 12 meter trailer right here. And whenever I took it across the, um, the cell point right there, I got $106,423. So next, I took a bunch of these six meter logs and I put them into another 12 meter trailer. All right, so half the size of what it should be. And when I drove it across the cell point right there, I only got $59,301. Well, what happens if I put a bunch of 12 meters into six meters? Well, when I did that and drove it across, I got 57,472. I'm not exactly 100% sure exactly what's going on there, why there's about a $2,000 difference. So then I was like, okay, well, what about six meters in a six meter container? And y'all, I got $113,820. Then I wanted to see what exactly would happen if I put some cut trees in here. All right, just cut the tree straight down over there in that area, put them into a trailer, and then take it across. $28,736. Do not, do not cut your logs and put them straight in there. Like you need to cut them into links. Don't just cut them down and shoot them straight in there. That's not the way to go here. And then I started to think, well, what's the difference between selling in a container versus selling the logs as is on a log trailer. So what I did is I cut down a bunch of six meter logs right here, because we know that in Farming Simulator 22 base game, six meter logs, those are the best price that you can get for a log. So I was like, all right, six meters. And as you guys can see, I, I took down a bunch of different trees. These are all 100% sourced from the map. I did not spawn these in. Here are all of the stumps. Here's all the pieces off the ends. Y'all, we have only six meter segments here. You can see all the way from the big trunks all the way to the little bitty tops. I put these six meter logs actually in these two six meter containers right here. I made $158,268. I do not understand why I made $45,000 more by having these logs here on the ground that I cut versus the ones that I spawned in. Put them in this 12 meter trailer right here. I got $80,866. Y'all, that is a huge, huge penalty to put the wrong size log inside a trailer. So then I took every one of these logs that you're seeing right here, the six meters that we'd put inside these containers, and I put them in this logging trailer right here. And I took it to that sawmill sitting right over there. $48,708. Now that seems like a really, really low price. And there is a good reason for that, kind of. Let me show you here. On the prices menu, you can see that the container warehouse right here was $3,709 per thousand liters. The sawmill. Okay, this is the new one that I went to. 2991 so what I did is I took and figured out how much of a price difference there was here. It's about 24% more this one is than this one. So I added about 24% onto my 48,708 and that got $60,398. $158,268 for selling them in the six meter containers versus 60,398 by loading them on there. All that extra work to load them on there, and we're talking $90,000 difference. These auto load shipping containers might be a bigger game changer than we realized.